Good afternoon, kings and queens. This is Queen Tajay, and of course, I am back with another video. And in this video, I will be doing a purple acrylic full set with an outlined um, black trim. So let's get started. This client does not have literally any nail beds, but we still decided to use nail tips. So I will keep you all updated if they pop off or anything like that. If she lets me know, I will let you all know. So I'm just cutting down to her desired length and I've already of course placed the nails on and then afterwards I am going to go in and try my best to blend the tip. These are pre-shaped tips. They are from BT Art Box and of course I will link these below. And right here you can just see me fouling the nail because she doesn't have um, natural nail beds underneath. I'm actually using this foul uh, right out of the pocket. like. I'm, I'm sorry the packet is literally not even on her nail for the most part so yeah and then I'm just going around the sides just to make sure that they don't go over her um sidewalls and then that's it Now I'm going to go in with my dehydrator and primer and apply that to her natural nails only. I did, however, apply um, the primer twice to this client because, again, her nail beds are so short. And um, I'm trying to get her nails to grow. This is her first time coming to me, but hopefully she comes back because I'm really interested in seeing how long her nails can be. So I'm going to prep her nails twice.
So now I'm gonna apply Glacier Clear to her natural nails. That way, just in case she wants to get a fill in, it is easier to do. And then after I apply Glacier Clear, I am going to go in with a beautiful purple color called Violet. Of course, I will link that down below. It is from C-Tones, and I will also make sure I put my discount code in so y'all can get a percentage off. Okay, so when I apply my colored acrylic or any acrylic, I make sure I do the padding method. Um, if you've been here since the beginning, you know I had trouble with still laying the bead of acrylic after I finished uh, nail school and got licensed. And then I took a nail class by someone uh, named Nails by Latisse on Instagram. So when I apply my acrylic, I make sure I pat it down. And then I also make sure I keep the... Um, shape of the nails so when I'm done I don't have to file a lot so that is what I'm going to do for each and every nail sometimes I do um, go ahead and start pulling the acrylic down but I noticed that I take off the acrylic so I'm still trying to get in the habit of doing it the correct way of course you can pull down the acrylic once you get to your second or third bead depending on um, which bead is going to be in the cuticle area but for the first bead you always make sure that you pat it down you don't necessarily rub it because you can rub off that acrylic in the second bead, you place it, let it run down the nail just a little bit, and then you pat it and kind of swipe it down just a little so that you can blend it into the second bead. And I'm going to do it again for the rest of the nails, so make sure you're paying attention.
And now I'm going to go in and do my filing and shaping. Um, for this video, I'm not going to use my e-file because I wanted to make sure that everything was done by hand. Make sure that I couldn't feel any dips or anything. I wanted to make sure everything was perfect for the set. So I'm doing everything by hand and it turned out pretty good. Like I always say, you do not always have to need or use a e-file. Because what if it dies on you? What if the power go out? Something can always happen to technology. So always make sure that you have a hand file. And so, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Make sure my shaping is right. Make sure the top of the nail is as smooth as possible. And, of course, you can always get by that cuticle area. As always, I'm using my thumb and my other fingers to be in the way so I do not hurt my client. And when I'm doing the cuticle area, I pull her skin back with my thumb like I'm doing here and then file around that cuticle area um it's very simple the only thing is like when you're dealing with uh files or any type of file um sometimes you can psych yourself out because you think you're going to cut your client but as long as your finger is in the way then you will have nothing to worry about So after I remove the dust, I am then going to take my black gel polish in a 
art brush and just outline the outside of my client's nails with that black and i'm going to do two nails at a time and cure those for 10 seconds just so that that gel polish does not run as we all know gel polish can run ruin the shape of your nail ruin the design so you want to make sure you at least flash cure between every finger finger excuse me or every two fingers and that's what i did here and so yeah i also made sure that i had a little dapping dish or something to put the um black gel polish in instead of dipping it into the whole container. I made sure I have something to the side that I can use. And now I'm going to do the same with the opposite hand. Um, if it skipped, it is because that I was outside of the camera, so there was no need to keep that footage. But everything went just fine. I'm just making sure that um, I do my lines as perfect as possible. So that this is what actually took me the longest, just making sure the shaping was right. Because if the shape of your nail isn't right, those lines will show that. So I made sure my shaping was perfect. Uh, the top of my nail was perfect and that way when I went in with my lines I had no trouble whatsoever so um, this is a clear visual of everything and again I cured every two nails for 10 seconds so you will see the video kind of jump that is because I just took that part out when I had her nails up in the lamp but yeah I, I love this part actually I've been waiting for somebody to um booked me for a set like this and it hasn't happened so i'm so glad she booked me for this and um she showed me a picture of something similar and i just went with it
So while the other hand is curing, I am going to go in with my C-Tone to now wipe gel top coat and apply that top coat and cure that for 60 seconds. Although this um, top coat doesn't have to cure longer than 30 seconds, I also want to make sure that black um, gel polish is uh, cured enough. Um, it doesn't move, but you know, sometimes underneath the uh, colored gel polish, it could wrinkle up because it's not fully cured. So I made sure to have her cure that top coat for 60 seconds if we were all done. Um, like I said, I love this set. And it was, I know it may seem a little basic, but it's just something about that outline that gets me every time. It makes the whole set look so clean and different. So I love it. Now I'm going to apply my cuticle oil and then get ready for my pictures. <music> 